All right, G7s, we're going to talk about air pollution, and it's our final series on pollution, and we're going to look at what are the issues relating to the air, and then how it relates back to soil and water pollution. Uh, just a little bit of an introduction as to what the air is actually made of. Um, the air is made up of various different gases, the largest which is actually nitrogen, um, not oxygen. About 78% of the air is made of nitrogen, and oxygen is the second largest gas. It takes up about 20% of the air. Um, argon is the third largest gas, and it's only about 1%. It's a very small amount. Um, and then all of the other gases, carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide and methane and uh, helium and hydrogen and all of those other gases actually make up 1% together. Uh, so the air we breathe is actually mostly nitrogen and oxygen. Um, so we look at that largely nitrogen, oxygen, and we only have a little bit left over for argon and all the other gases. Okay, so that's basically what air is. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So when we're looking at air, um, what causes air pollution? If it's just made of gas, how do we pollute gas? Well, one of the major ways is actually cooking with wood at home. Cooking with wood at home in many parts of the world is the normal way people cook. Uh, we would consider cooking it with charcoal. So uh, the food that's cooked on the street, those mooping vendors with their grills and grilling the food, they're creating lots of smoke that's going up into the air. Um, the second largest cause is burning of garbage. Again, both of these burning things, creating lots of smoke and chemicals that are getting into the air. Uh, the third largest are actually cars and trucks, and finally, it's factories and power stations. I think we often kind of get those backwards. We assume that it's the big factories, and then it's the cars and trucks that are creating the most pollution. Um, but it's actually the large amount of cooking and burning that is happening in parts of the world that create uh, a lot of air pollution. And again, it depends on what country you're in. There's not a lot of cooking with wood at home in Europe and maybe the United States, but in parts of Africa, that's really quite common. So uh, these are worth looking at things worldwide. Okay. So those are some causes of air pollution. Um, what are some types of air pollution? The, the first one we're going to look at is fog and smog. What's the difference? Well, fog is actually just water droplets in the air. So it's kind of like a low cloud. Um, and it's different than smog. If you've ever been to San Francisco, uh, you may have seen lots of fog. Uh, it's, it's basically just a low cloud, and there's no real pollution there. Something that looks very similar is smog. And in Bangkok, we have quite a bit of smog. And it's actually chemicals and particles in the air. Okay? And it's a form of air pollution, whereas fog is not. Uh, and it's pollution, it hurts your eyes, your throat, your lungs. Um, and the main sources are actually cars and trucks and buses here in Bangkok. That big black cloud of smoke that comes out of the back of the bus is uh, a chemical and particles that get into the air uh, and actually it's not smoke so much, but it's these chemicals that go into the air and actually react with uh, the chemicals in the air as well as sunlight that actually turns it into this kind of chemical cloud. Okay? It's what makes when you look out over the, uh, the city in Bangkok where it looks kind of gray. That's not a cloud necessarily. That could very well be smog and a type of air pollution. Another type of air pollution that we're probably more familiar with is acid rain. Acid rain is pollution, and one of its main effects is it actually changes the pH of the water, uh, which changes the environment of many organisms. It also, as we can see on the picture, changes the pH of the ground that it rains on and can kill plants. Um, so acid rain actually has an impact on uh, water and on soil. So we might wonder why is acid rain actually a type of air pollution, not a soil or a uh, water pollution. And really the, the truth is, is it probably is a little bit of all of them. And the reason is, is it starts with 
air pollution. There's a clear pollution of chemicals being released into the air by cars and factories and things like that. Um, and these chemicals, particularly sulfur dioxide and um, other nitrogen-containing compounds, gets into the clouds and interacts with the water in the clouds, changing their chemical um, makeup. And then after the, chem the water's been changed, that leads to a water pollution and it falls down onto the ground and into the water. So really, it starts out as a pollution in the air and then causes its effects in water pollution and in soil pollution. So uh, acid rain, well, we call it an air pollution because that's where it comes from, pollution to the air. Okay? Lots of different pollutions that we've talked about. Uh, and what we should start to begin to uh, do is make connections between different air and soil pollutions and water pollution. There are household and industry and agricultural uses and they're all connected and we're going to be looking for how they affect our water in the Chao Phraya River.